The first thing you will need to do is safely raise and support the vehicle as well as remove the brake pads, blue arrows. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with that task. Remove the fitting for the flexible brake line, green arrow, from where it joins the hard line on the caliper. The fittings or nut on the hard line is soft. Make sure to use the proper tool to save from damaging it. That tool is a 10 mm flared nut wrench. Pull the electrical line for the wheel speed sensor out from the bracket on the caliper, indicated by the blue arrow. Use a T55 torque and remove the original bolts if still equipped, blue arrows. Always replace these bolts. The new bolts will be a 10 mm Allen head. You can now remove the caliper completely. Take it to your bench and transfer over the mounting bracket by removing the 10 mm bolt, blue arrow, and the hardline connector with a 10 mm flared nut wrench, green arrow. If you are reusing the hard brake line, it is always a good idea to plug it to stop impurities from getting into it, red arrow. Installation is the reverse of removal. Torque the caliper mounting bolts to 85 newton meters or 63 foot pounds. Once you replace the caliper, you must completely bleed your brake system. Do not attempt to drive the vehicle without first completely bleeding your brakes. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.